Rosie the rabbit lived in the whispering woods. It was a beautiful place. The trees were tall and the flowers were bright. Rosie loved to explore. Every day she hopped and skipped through the woods. She knew every path and every tree. One sunny morning, Rosie smelled something sweet. She followed her nose to a part of the woods she had never seen before. The air was warm and smelled like berries. Rosie knew this was an adventure. Rosie hopped into a clearing. In the middle stood a giant oak tree. It was the biggest tree Rosie had ever seen. At the base of the tree, Rosie saw a tiny door. It was just her size. She pushed it open and peeked inside. Hello? The tree smelled like old books and warm cookies. Well, hello there, little one. A wise old owl with spectacles perched on a branch. I am Professor Hootenanny. What brings you to my humble abode? Rosie told Professor Hootenanny about her adventures. You seem like a brave and kind rabbit. The forest needs your help. He explained that a darkness was spreading, making the plants wilt and the animals afraid. Only the three artifacts of the forest can stop it. Rosie's heart thumped. What are artifacts? They are objects of great power. The acorn of strength, the feather of wisdom, and the crystal of courage. Professor Hootenanny pointed to a map. And the crystal lies hidden in the lake of reflections, guarded by its own reflection. The feather rests on top of Windy Peak, blown by strong winds. The acorn lies in the whispering caves, guarded by riddles. That sounds dangerous. Professor Hootenanny nodded. It will be, but you don't have to do it alone. You will need help. Rosie thought for a moment. I know just the friends to ask, she declared. Rosie hopped off to find her friends. First, she found Boris the bear. Boris was big and strong, but very gentle. He was perfect to help with the acorn of strength. Next, she found Felix the fox. Felix was very clever and quick. He could help with the feather of wisdom. Finally, she found Squeaky the squirrel. Squeaky was small, but very brave. She could help with the crystal of courage. Rosie and her friends faced many challenges. Boris's strength helped them move boulders in the whispering caves. Felix's cleverness helped them solve the riddles guarding the acorn. Next, they climbed Windy Peak. Squeaky's courage helped them face the strong winds. Felix's quick thinking helped them catch the feather of wisdom. Finally, they reached the Lake of Reflections. Boris's strength helped them row across. Squeaky's bravery helped her face the reflection and grab the crystal of courage. With all three artifacts, they confronted the darkness. It was scary, but they stood together, their friendship and bravery shining like a light. The darkness vanished, and the forest was safe again. Rosie and her friends became known as the Guardians of the Forest. They promised to always protect it and keep it safe. And so, the Whispering Woods was peaceful and bright once more, thanks to a brave rabbit and her loyal friends.